Welcome to a new book review. Today we're talking about The Unfair Advantage, how you already have what it takes to succeed. This book is said to give deeply true, insightful, helpful and crucial business advice that you won't get anywhere else. It's written by Ash Ali and Hassan Kuba. I hope I said their names right. I probably didn't. And in the first chapters they're talking about where they come from and what their entrepreneurial journeys were. Then they talk about mindset and I have to say that I don't really like that every successful entrepreneur talks about that you just need the right mindset and once you have the right mindset you're gonna be successful. And that just everything is about having the right mindset and once you have the right mindset you're successful. And I'm always like I'm not super successful so do I just not have the right mindset and will I someday have the right mindset and then when somebody asks me what it takes to be successful I'm like you just need to have the right mindset is that is that how it's gonna be is it just like magic you have the right mindset and there you are you're successful I don't think so but they approached the whole mindset thing in a very good way I have to say I really liked it they combined the growth mindset and the fixed mindset into a reality growth mindset so you should basically believe that you can achieve above average results but not just blindly believe that you're gonna be a millionaire by tomorrow the sentence that really stuck with me was have your feet rooted on the ground with your head in the clouds then they talk about the miles framework where the M stands for money, the I for intelligence and insight, the L for location and luck, the E for education and expertise and the S for status. And they give a lot of very great real life examples in this book like from our time from 2017 or 2019 since this book is not very old it's from January of 2020 so it's really up to date. For example they talk about how the Kardashians are making money with their makeup lines or for example in regards to money what a transition that Evan Spiegel, the founder of Snapchat, had, M for money, rich parents which gave him mentors and they had a lot of influence, which was kind of his unfair advantage in becoming successful. But money is of course not the only unfair advantage that you can get, you can also have intelligence, like for example the Collison brothers which invented Stripe, which is an online payment solution. Patrick Collison for example invented his own programming language at the age of just 16 and his brother finished with the highest score on his leaving certificate ever and got accepted into Harvard before he even finished his final exams. That's pretty impressive. Then we have L for location and luck. Ray Kroc, the founder of McDonald's once stated that success is first about being in the right place at the right time and second doing something about it. An example for having an unfair advantage in regards to the location is for example having your company in the Silicon Valley where you can get a lot of great connections or workers for your company or for example having a restaurant or a shop in a shopping mall where a lot of other startups are clustered. But L is of course also for luck and then you think how can you influence your luck? You can influence your luck by for example taking more action, meet people by for example attending startup events, blog about your stuff on the internet or just basically put your stuff out there. I'm seeing some parallels to what Gary Vee is always preaching. Another very great example of the book is for example if you're trying to roll a double six with some dice and you can roll as many times as you want. Of course you would just roll until you get a double six. So if you just take more action you have a wider surface where luck can hit you because you have unlimited attempts in life and nobody's counting how often you roll the dice. So just keep on meeting people and do new stuff which is why I'm still uploading YouTube videos. Also we're almost at 1000 subscribers so subscribe if you're interested in more and you're enjoying this. Moving on. E for education and expertise, for example, if you have a fancy college degree that also gives you a higher status, which we will come to in a second, this is an unfair advantage. And also expertise is the stuff you learn by either doing stuff or attending online courses or reading books. That's the expertise that you get with the stuff you're doing. Also one part of this is networking because if you attend a very great university there are a lot of people that you can partner up with. They can be your co-founders or you can be their co-founders. And also there are a lot of professors which can be your mentors. And the last factor in the Miles framework is S for status. And this does not just mean your social status but also something like your age. And I experienced this firsthand. I'm actually gonna do another video about this topic because I have a really funny story to tell about this. So in case you're interested be sure to subscribe subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you won't miss out on that great story. Ash gives a great example for this where he was applying for a job and everything went well and then they saw the age at just 22 and then he almost didn't get the job just because of the age when everything else was fine. Now they also tell you how you can turn something that looks like a disadvantage into an advantage. Like for example if you have a lot of money then you of course have the unfair advantage of putting a lot of money in your startup and have the potential of being successful but then again if you have less money to put into your startup it forces you to get more creative which can also be a very great unfair advantage.
or advantage, not unfair, but it's an advantage. Or for example, if you're very successful in the beginning, which will skyrocket your startup to the moon and beyond, but then you have some problems later on in your startup and you don't know how to deal with them because you did not run into these problems when you were just small, so you can't deal that well with these problems. Also speaking about not needing a lot of money in the beginning, there are two types of startups. First, the lifestyle startup and second, the hyper growth startup. The lifestyle startup will become profitable way sooner, but isn't that likely to explode and make you a billionaire anytime soon. The hyper growth startup on the other hand is focused on just growing, so they will burn a lot of money in the beginning so you should have a lot of money and investors and stuff if you want a hyper growth startup they will take longer to make any profit at all but if they make a profit it will be a lot of profit and hopefully they will turn into a so-called unicorn which is when a company becomes worth 1 billion dollars or more but sadly that is all we got time for today of course as always i did not cover everything in this book but it's a very great book i can heavily recommend it no wonder it won the business book of the year award 2021 and the best startup scale up book award of 2021 as well i can heavily suggest you have a read yourself there is a link to the book down in the description you can buy it on amazon and you can watch another book review right here from last month and you can watch the book review playlist right down here and i will hopefully see you in the next video and if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and you can also subscribe. That was a bit messed up, but I think you'll get the point. See ya!